It all started, I think, in 2001. Um, we had the Miami Fusion. Uh, that was the best team in Major League Soccer at the time. They should have been champions. They got cheated, but that's another story. Um, and uh, Major League Soccer decided to uh, close them down. And um, that changed everything for us. Uh, I, I got heartbroken. My team was gone. I didn't know what to do. I, I, was, I was bored. We, we were all Miami Fusion fans, and we, we remember losing the Miami Fusion. And, and at this time, Miami FC, uh, the Traffic Sports Miami FC, was, was uh, now in existence. Apparently, it all started because of a website. At the time, Peter Brown made a website, and Julio Caballero found it somehow. Back then, it was hard to find websites and stuff like that. It was like a, a, a soccer website and people started joining. I think the first one to join was Julio, and that's how it started. When I created a website, I created this website that was very, very difficult to find. It was just me goofing around, learning how to create websites. And I put a logo on this website that said, Supporters Club, very difficult to find website, but Julio Caballero, he found it. He was the one person that found this website. So he contacted me and asked me where to join. And I said, join what? He says, join the Supporters Club. The logo says Supporters Club. So that was the beginning. It always made sense that Miami needed a Major League Soccer team. When they closed the team down, it was, you know, like I said, a heartbreak. Um, and it just seemed like it, it had to come back one day. And that's, that was our mission. We decided we're going to do something about it. We're going to bring a team. We're going to bring Major League Soccer back to Miami. Uh, the, the name, uh, we first started off as the uh, Miami Ultras um, because we were, we were supporting at the time uh, the Miami FC, which and, um, we decided that there would be eventually a name change. We, we were trying to think of a good name, something that would identify South Florida. Uh, so there were some other guys that were using Southern Legion name and they, they disbanded and, and so we one of the guys joined in with us and uh, we just thought it sounded really really cool and I think that's like really... That. And I told uh, Julio Caballero and Peter and the rest of the guys, hey uh, that was a pretty cool name Southern Legion. You know the Southern, you know there's a whole bunch of us, there's, we're in the South, this is the actual South. Um, so they were like, you know what, that's a good name. Let's... So they were like, all right, Southern Legion it is. It stuck. Everybody started liking it, and uh, um, the rest is history as far as the name is concerned. The process of, of, of getting all the owners together, now that was a painful process. Never ending, it took forever. Uh, we had many heartbreaks along the way. Um, we, I remember Julio started saying, we need to go, we need to keep bugging uh, uh, Don Garber. We need to send emails, we need to, you know, at the time, the only thing we could do was email. Finally, we got his attention, uh, and he gave us a, an, uh, a chance to talk to him, you know, uh, to see if there was a chance. And, um, and he told us, what you guys need to do is get ownership with Deep Pockets, which was what Miami Fusion didn't have. You know, a good supporter base, uh, and more importantly, you know, the ownership, the guys that are going to actually pay for it. Let's, let's do this, let's find ownership. And he looked through the Forbes list and he's like, all right, let's hit every Florida billionaire that we can find. Um, and he got in contact with a couple people, I got in contact with a couple others. Uh, they actually responded. Uh, and uh, Marcelo Claude was one of them. I don't think he was a billionaire at the time, but he was still pretty wealthy. Marcelo Claude was, was the, the key guy that, that, that helped us out. That, that supported us uh, no matter what. Marcelo was the first one in and Julio and I would, would work with Marcelo when he was trying to partner with Barcelona and we would pass out flyers all around the malls, local soccer clinics, what have you. We were passing out flyers to drum up uh, some support for his, at the time, partnership with Barcelona to bring MLS. And then around 2008, something like that, it, you know, the, the economy collapsed and so that deal fell apart. So then we're waiting again. And there was a time when uh, I think uh, Peter was like, oh, I'm tired, I don't wanna do this anymore. And, uh, and I was ready to do the same thing. And, and uh, 
And Julio was like, no, man, don't do it. Dude, I've got faith. This is going to happen. Marcelo told me that, you know, not to give up, that, that, that he's going he's gonna to do it. Because he's, he's, he's committed to doing it. So I was like, oh, Julio, you know, we've already wasted, I think at that time it was like seven or eight years of, uh, you know, doing this. And I was starting to get tired and I was starting to lose faith. But Julio Caballero never lost faith. He was always, he was always uh, positive that it was going to happen. You know, we, we were around the Southern Legion and, and, um, and we were the, the supporters group, the only supporters group at that point. Uh, the ones that that kept fighting for for this to happen. So, um, yeah, it was almost it, it almost didn't happen. And, and, and Julio is constantly pressuring Marcelo to keep at it, stick with it, stick with it. And so you know it, he did, and and uh, he eventually met up with Beckham. Um, uh, Julio told him something about David Beckham. You know, David Beckham's contract includes a team. Why don't you give him a call? And Marcelo jokingly, I guess, said. You know, get me his contact, and Julio's like, well, "Dude, you're the billionaire," I, you know. And sure enough, not not too long later, a couple of months later, uh, they ended up meeting. Little by little, it started materializing. You know, the, the great thing is is that Julio never gave up, and because of him, I didn't give up. And a couple of people started giving up, <laughs> you know, along the way. Fortunately for us, uh, the Moss uh, brothers showed up and. They decided uh, they wanted to be part of this, and, and thanks to them, uh, it happened. Uh, and here we are. We have Inter Miami. So that first time, I mean, going to the unveiling, actually going to the you know the the announcement was an amazing feeling. And then and the, you know it was all this work had finally happened. It finally came to fruition. That night before the, the announcement, uh, I couldn't sleep. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to go there and see it. Um, when we got there, it was uh, so great. We had so many people there. Seeing Marcelo, seeing Jorge, seeing Garber, seeing the announcement of MLS Miami. It was just a, a beautiful thing, and I will never forget that. And then that one day, you know, there's that picture where Julio and I come out with uh, Don Garber and uh, uh, the Miami-Dade uh, mayor at the time, and and uh, once we were sitting there in that theater in, in in downtown Miami, it was real. It became real, and uh, it, it took a few more years after until we actually got on the field. But um, I remember uh, g going to LA with the rest of the group and and being there for that first game, flying to LA, and it was, that was, that was reality, that it, it was finally happening, and, and um, we, we got, we got it filmed where we were, we, we were on the plane, and we were all singing, and, and, uh, and we lost that game, but, but for us, it was a win, we, we, we had our soccer team, we had uh, Inter-Miami, and, and here we are. Uh, so I was here about three years ago, when they were building this baby up here, um, it's just very fascinating to see, you know, what it is now. And then we walk into the stadium for the first time to see our club play. I mean, it's the, those are the goosebump times. It was an amazing, amazing feeling. To be here every weekend or every other weekend and support our team is just, you know, it's, it's inspiring. It's, it's, it's just, it's a feeling that is hard to express. Uh, but, you know, just as a real soccer fan, football fan, uh, you could appreciate. Southern Legion for me is, it's, it's, it's family. It's something that we, uh, we developed uh, with love. When we developed the Southern Legion, uh, it was more a, a group that wanted to bring Major League Soccer to, the, to, to Miami. Um, it wasn't actually a supporters group because there was no team. So Southern Legion represents passion for the game. It represents um, our team, our city, and of course our family. Southern Legion is that. Southern Legion is fight is getting together to keep pushing, pushing the car. We are the soul of the team. We are the heartbeat. The Southern Legion, what it means to me? Well, <laughs> to me is everything. Uh, it's very special. I uh, love everything about it. Southern Legion, uh, to me, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's the best supporters club out there. You know, the getting behind this club, the original. These are the guys whether you joined yesterday or you joined 
15 years ago. You're part of this group of guys that worked hard to bring MLS to South Florida. It's family, it's football, it's singing to that team that we love, Inter Miami. That the team that we want to see in MLS become champion. That team that we wanted to evolve rather than being part of that project that was a dream years ago and now is reality. That is our legion. So I, I see a great future for the Southern Legion and, and uh, this family keeps growing and um, I can't wait to, to see what happens in the years to come. When my grandchildren grow up, they're gonna be there in, in La Barra uh, doing El Relajo, as, as I like to say, and, and having fun con, with the trapos and, and all that good stuff. So, um, vamos Legion. Southern Legion has been there always, has been in Miami, since the beginning of days of the football culture. So it's been a great 15 years and we look forward to continue to write the history of soccer in Miami. And we're gonna need your help. We're gonna need your help, especially behind the scenes. Singing, chanting, not use one song, not use two songs, but the entire 90 minutes to make a difference and to support our team. And of course, looking forward for the away games and for the activities that we're gonna do through the year uh, to help this take to the next level. So let's go Legion. Let's go Inter Miami. Vamos.